a phrase I hear a lot thrown in martial arts gyms is don't waste your time doing XYZ style. And what most people mean when they say something like this is you're doing this thing that I don't like when instead you could be doing this thing that I do like. Now usually this is said by well-meaning combat sports practitioners who want their friends to learn how to actually fight while instead they're wasting their time doing something else. And I can understand where they're coming from with that, but that's actually horrible advice. In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can never waste your time doing martial arts and my experience with Bujinkan Budo Taijutsu. For those of you who don't know, Bujinkan Budo Taijutsu would probably more accurately be called Ninjutsu. Not so much because that's what it really is, but that's how most people would know it. Specifically, when you think about ninja style martial arts, that's kind of what Budo Taijutsu says they're doing. And as you can imagine, as a young boy who grew up on Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles, that's what I wanted to do. I started martial arts at 11 years old doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but once I found out there was a Taijutsu or Ninjutsu gym in my area, that's immediately what I transferred over to. I had a lot of fun in that training, learning how to throw shuriken, learning how to fall from far distances, and honestly, learning a lot about stealth and tactics. It was a hell of a lot of fun. But what I didn't learn was a damn thing about unarmed combat. And this is where I see where people are coming from when they say you're wasting your time doing martial arts. Because yes, throwing shuriken is great. Learning how to climb a rope as fast as possible is a lot of fun. But at the end of the day, aren't we doing martial arts to learn to defend ourselves with our fists and our feet? Well, that's a question you have to answer for yourself. But for me, martial arts is all about using your hands, your feet, your elbows, your knees, whatever, to defend yourself in either consensual or non-consensual fighting. And again, I don't think I learned any of that, at least not well, in Budo Taijutsu. But do I think I wasted my time? Let me answer that question with an allegory. Let's say you wanna to go to the gym three days a week and lift weights for an hour. You do that two times out of the week with no problem. But on that third day, you only happen to get two hours of sleep before you went to the gym and now you're actually too tired and decide to stay home and take a nap. Did you waste that time or were you mature enough to realize you needed the rest and invested your time more wisely? Some people might say you wasted your time, but you might say, no, I needed the rest. I don't like lifting weights when I'm tired. That's totally respectable. That's on you. So deciding to do one thing when you could have been doing something else is not wasting your time. But now let's talk about a different story. Let's say you have to get a certain report done by the end of the day. However, instead, you spend the entire day on YouTube, hopefully watching Combat Self-Defense, which you need to make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on for. But five o'clock rolls around and you have none of your report done. Did you waste your time? Yes, because unlike in the previous story where you could have been doing B, but you chose to do A, in this case, you should have been doing B, but you chose to do something else instead. Now you've wasted your time and now you're not gonna get paid and your wife is gonna leave you. Realistically, the only way to waste your time is when you should be doing something and you choose not to. So let's apply this to the martial arts and my experience with Budo Taijutsu specifically. If I had gone to my sensei on day one and said, will this style teach me to fight? And he said, yes. And after five years, I realized not only can I not fight, but I think I was actively lied to, then you can argue that I wasted my time or I could have done what I did and broadened my perspective. Because instead of saying I wasted my time, I thought about the things Taijutsu did offer me. Like I said, I learned how to throw shuriken. I learned about stealth, which has never been useful in real life, but it is cool to know. And I learned tactics and strategies that I can use in real sparring and fighting. Now, these are things that I managed to implement later on once I actually learned how to fight, but the deception, the tricky footwork, that was already there. That came from that original Taijutsu training. The only thing I didn't get from that was the ability to fight. But once I brought in my perspective and saw what else I learned from that style, I can't say I wasted my time. There's another pitfall to this idea, which is if you find yourself in a fight or sparring scenario and you don't do well, you might be tempted to think that your training failed you and you wasted your time. But that's not necessarily the case either because you might be an expert karate black belt. You might be able to throw hook kicks like the best of them and land them 99% of the time. But you could also be going up against an opponent who knows how to dodge those hook kicks. It's possible that as good as you are at your thing, he's better at his thing. That doesn't mean you wasted your time and you throw all the training away and now focus on wrestling. It just means that maybe you need to get better at what you're doing 
or incorporate something else. The point that I'm trying to make is don't fall into the trap of thinking that just because someone is better than you at their game, that means that your game is a waste. It's not. The important thing that martial arts teaches you is to be resilient and get right back on your feet. Examine your training. See if you trained to the best of your ability to really prepare for that sparring or that fight. And if you feel like you didn't do that, maybe adjust and try a little bit harder. If you feel like you did do that, see what you can incorporate to help better prepare you for the future. Or if you really do feel like you were going in the opposite direction of where you wanted to go, now it's time to change things up. But don't ever think that just because you failed once or twice in a vacuum, that means that all of your training was a wash, because I guarantee you it wasn't. The point is, the only time that you've wasted your time is when you can't see what you've gained from an experience. And I don't think anybody, outside of certain select frauds, seeks out to waste your time. Every martial artist should believe in what they're doing, and they want you to believe in it too. You might be inclined to think that as a fan of combat sports, the only thing I ever want to practice is combat sports. But that's not true. I look at all martial arts that I can find and see what I can take from them. I like aspects of Kali. I like aspects of Kempo. I like aspects of Bokator. It doesn't matter what the style is. Everybody has something to offer. Now, I should specify, I'm not talking about the shysters and the frauds out there. We need to throw them out. I'm talking about the genuine people who want to show you the martial art they're doing. There is one time when I could say you have definitely wasted your time. And that's when your instructor or the style as a whole has taught you some bullshito. I'm not talking about training methods or techniques that maybe aren't great at teaching you to fight. I'm talking about movements that are entirely based in fantasy and not only don't teach you how to fight, but actively make you worse at fighting. I can't say why these techniques exist. I can't say how they exist, but I can say they have been empirically proven in the cage, in the ring, and in the streets to not be viable in real altercations. And yeah, you could make the argument that you're learning some kind of principle or some kind of idea by doing these movements, but I think you can also find better ways to teach these movements. You don't have to teach someone complete bullshit that they might actually try to do in a real situation just because you're too lazy to find a better way to communicate your idea. Again, I'm all for using training tools. I'm all for using analogies to teach something. But if you're actively teaching someone something that doesn't work, find a better way to teach them. And this isn't some kind of way of me saying that learning bad techniques will get you killed because I don't necessarily believe that. I just think in that scenario, you are wasting your students time. Teaching and conveyance is an important part of every martial arts system. And if your teacher has to rely on bad teaching tools to get their message across, then they're just a bad teacher. But that's the one time I would say that you are guaranteed to be wasting your time in martial arts. Otherwise, you might be doing something that's not worried about fighting. Maybe you're learning a method of self-expression, maybe you're learning something about a culture, or maybe you're just not learning the best way to fight. However, it's up to you as the practitioner to broaden your mind and see what you are getting out of your training or how you can modify what you're learning in your training to make it more applicable to your goal. And I say this because not everyone is concerned with fighting. There's people who are doing it to stay fit. There's people who are doing it to stay calm. There's people who are learning to do it for fight choreography. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You need to find a way to link every single thing you're doing in the gym to your ultimate goal. And if you can't find that, then maybe you're not looking hard enough, or if you've really exhausted every option, then you can say, yes, you wasted your time. Anyway, that was my diatribe on how to not waste your time while wasting your time watching YouTube videos. All that being said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. If you wouldn't mind, please be sure to subscribe, tap the notification bell, like, share, and leave a comment. As always, this has been Rob and Comment Self-Defense. I want to thank you for all the hard work. Thank you for the hard work yet to be done.